Leaders who serve will serve as good leaders. Our Daily Bread. Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by David McCaslin. In his book, Spiritual Leadership, J. Oswald Sanders explores the qualities and the importance of tact and diplomacy. Combining these two words, Sanders says, the idea emerges of skill in reconciling opposing viewpoints without giving offense and without compromising principle. During Paul's imprisonment in Rome, he became the spiritual mentor and close friend of a runaway slave named Onesimus, whose owner was Philemon. When Paul wrote to Philemon, a leader of the church in Colossae, asking him to receive Onesimus as a brother in Christ, he exemplified tact and diplomacy. Although in Christ I could be bold and order you to do what you ought to do, yet I prefer to appeal to you on the basis of love. Onesimus is very dear to me, but even dearer to you, both as a fellow man and as a brother in the Lord. Paul, a respected leader of the early church, often gave clear commands to the followers of Jesus. In this case, though, he appealed to Philemon on the basis of equality, friendship, and love. I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that any favor you do would not seem forced, but would be voluntary. In all our relationships, may we seek to preserve harmony and principle in the spirit of love. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Philemon, verses 8 through 18. Therefore, although in Christ I could be bold and order you to do what you ought to do, yet I prefer to appeal to you on the basis of love. It is as none other than Paul, an old man and now also a prisoner of Christ Jesus, that I appeal to you for my son Onesimus, who became my son while I was in chains. Formerly he was useless to you, but now he has become useful both to you and to me. I am sending him, who is my very heart, back to you. I would have liked to keep him with me so that he could take your place in helping me while I am in chains for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that any favor you do would not seem forced, but would be voluntary. Perhaps the reason he was separated from you for a little while was that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but better than a slave, as a dear brother. He is very dear to me, but even dearer to you, both as a fellow man and as a brother in the Lord. So if you consider me a partner, welcome him as you would welcome me. If he has done you any wrong or owes you anything, charge it to me. That's today's scripture reading from Philemon, verses 8 through 18. And now let's pray. Father in heaven, in all our relationships, give us grace and wisdom to be wise leaders, parents, and friends. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.